Aboard a replica of the ship that won the Battle of Lake Erie during the War of 1812, about 40 crew members of the U.S. Brig Niagara use ageless maritime skills to navigate between modern-day ports while both preserving and presenting the ship's history. It's the ship's burden. It's her cargo. This pro crew interacts with trainees to essentially make the ship a floating classroom. We're teaching people how to become effective mariners on board, uh, to be uh, sailors, to help sail the ship as part of the crew. Successfully sailing the ship entails a necessary element of mutual respect and trust among the crew. Think of the model ship, shipmate self. Safety is always emphasized and response training routinely practiced. There's a great deal of training involved how to operate life rafts and exposure suits and uh, what to do when a man overboard or a fire or other types of emergency flooding. So there's quite a bit of training that goes along with it. Duties of the crew involve more than just sailing the ship. Living aboard this 19th century maritime environment is an education and a challenge in and of itself. Cleaning the ship and maintenance because it's a wooden ship, so painting and stuff like that. Time is also spent stowing lines, tying knots, lashing ropes, leather working, you can see it's quite involved. tool making, and controlling the persistent flies. Not all the work happens on or below the decks. At about 100 feet aloft in the sail rigging, there are a number of other tasks to complete, and the view is simply breathtaking. Being up here aloft is fantastic. Uh, it's uh, exhilarating with the wind blowing through the sails and it's just you and uh, the wind and the sails doing their job. It's just uh, quite a surreal, peaceful moment. I can imagine at night with the stars would be even better. When not hard at work, the crew always makes time to enjoy the voyage as well as the good company. <laughs> there's always the good food to look forward to. Yeah. The galley provides three meals a day, all cooked on a wood-burning stove. More than eating, sailing, or the general workload, in the end, the journey is more about the transition of coming aboard as a passenger and leaving a mariner. By the time they finish up after several weeks, there's a sense of uh, self-confidence self -confidence and accomplishment and something they can be proud of and having experienced uh, on board. The U.S. Brig Niagara, among other tall ships, will hopefully return to Duluth in as early as three years. We had a great time while we were in Duluth. We always do. We had a, just a phenomenal time. We can't wait to come back. On the Great Lakes, Julie Pierce reporting for the Northlands News Center.